you've just come over. You've never been to Normandy, but, but this is in kind of sort of America's DNA, particularly yeah. if you're an ex-serviceman like yourself. Mm -hmm. The hairs on my arms are standing a little bit. <laughs> I've seen all the Hollywood depictions. I've walked probably every museum exhibit, and I've seen the documentaries, but I've never stood on the ground. It, we're, we're really lucky that we're looking beyond D-Day and we're going for the whole 77 days. But the start of the whole campaign is back here in, in the UK. I mean, the thing about the operational level is that once you reinsert it into the narrative, everything changes. And so they're just along this wall here. What always amazes me about the Mulberry Harbors is just the fact that someone had the audacity to even think about them in the first place. Everything you thought you knew about Normandy and D-Day, a whole different narrative emerges. Uh, that's it. Looks almost exactly the same. This is iconic in Ranger history. And no matter what I do, no matter what I do in the rest of my life, I'm always going to be a Ranger. So. <laughs> yeah. And we're also going to be showing you, in a completely different way, how the campaign was fought. When I see this tactically, this is a kill box. You know, every little window here, that can be a machine gun. Every little window can be a sniper. That's it. That's one and the same place. You're in my world now, James. I, I know this. Yeah. So I want to be led. I want to be led. <laughs> It looks like a field from the road, which of course it is. You get here, there's all this cool stuff. <laughs> it you know all starts to make sense as well, doesn't it? Yeah. How long are you in the air for with that? Literally, in the time that I just took to explain it, that was more time than they would have had. I promise you, your mind will be completely changed about D-Day and the 76 days that followed. I, I can't wait to see it. Top three. 